are well into 2021, Alexa is all over the place, and Amazon is only trying to get it into more households by venturing into the smart display arena. The February 2021 refresh to the Echo Show lineup brought in a new 10-inch smart display. This one can track you as you move in the room with its motorized base. But let's save that for another video and see how the 8-inch Echo Show is doing for now. First, let me get it out of the box real quick. This one, like all other Amazon products, has their signature frustration-free packaging. Also, the packaging is completely filled with smiles in all possible places to keep you from getting frustrated. Inside the box, there's a small setup guide and a neat set of instructions, alongside the warranty documentation which we barely ever go through. There's also a bulky 30 watt DC power adapter with a proprietary jack, and the attached wire is about 5 feet long so you don't have to worry about a power outlet being close by. Setting it up was super simple, just had to plug in the power cable, enter my Wi-Fi details and log into my Amazon account. You wouldn't even have to log into your Amazon account if you choose to link it to your account at the time of purchase. With that, I was all geared up to use this thing. At first, all it seemed to be was an oversized clock with a few interesting backgrounds. And these backgrounds, I must say, are really nice. They just fit into any environment very naturally. And then it started to magically scroll through trending topics and my recently played music. It also recommended me to play a round of Jeopardy, which was weirdly broken. So instead I asked Alexa to show me a waterfall and conveniently she opened up ambient visuals to take me straight to Niagara. For a few days that was basically all I was using the screen for. And after all, it is an Alexa device. So I did use a whole lot of typical voice commands like setting up reminders, timers and alarms without paying much attention to the screen. But when I was almost done cooking my spaghetti al dente, I happened to quickly have a glance at the screen. And what do I see? This cool animation of Newton's third law. This one took me right back to school. Another thing I learnt about while I was eating that spaghetti was routines. Alexa routines. Using these, I can make Alexa turn off my lights, play some relaxing music, and set up an alarm for the next day all at once. Alexa, good night. Here's something that'll put you to sleep. Nighty night boss. How cool is that? Later the next day, YouTube recommended me an epic pizza video, which naturally got me craving for a good pizza. While I could have just used one of these skills to get a good pizza delivered right at my doorstep, I thought of making one on my own. So I asked Alexa to help me out with this, and she sure did oblige. She offered me a lot of options from totally varied categories to cater to my taste. There were multiple kinds of pizza she was ready to guide me through, but I settled for a simple margarita. With that, right in front of me I had a neat step-by-step -step guide to building my own pizza. But the most convenient part of this was having the option to add all of the required ingredients directly into my Amazon cart. But fortunately I had everything at home, so I rolled up my sleeves and got right into making that dough. Once the dough was all done, a pizza recipe that I had seen earlier on YouTube struck my mind. So I asked Alexa to open up YouTube. Then I searched for Babish Culinary Universe Pizza. And out of these results, the video I chose for the sauce was this Basics with Babish episode on pizza. And I have to say, it's possibly the best pizza sauce that I've ever tasted. I followed along with Andrew and made my sauce, and as the sauce was simmering away for a good 40 minutes, just like he said in the video, I discovered that the Echo Show can play Prime Video and Netflix also. So I tried it out, and watched a few episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Even though this wouldn't be the screen to watch a whole movie on, it's the perfect size for a few episodes of a TV series. With that, my sauce was all cooked up and the dough was kept aside to rise. 24 hours later, I was all set to bake some pizza with some motivation brought to me by Apple Music on Echo Show. You can use Prime Music or Spotify too if you're not into Apple Music. As my pizza was baking, I had some time to mess around with the Alexa app. Here I found that I can link my email account so that Alexa can show me my calendars and also send and receive emails. Since my calendar was empty for now, I thought of ringing up my good old friend Allo and check up on how he was doing. And I did just that. With the Echo Show's built-in camera, I could also see what Allo was up to. 
And as you see here, he's really not doing all that much. Once I was done with that high priority call of mine, I closed the privacy shutter on the camera so that I can eat my pizza without being watched and also relieve myself of some scopophobia. With that, I called it a day, hoping that this channel hits 500 subscribers very soon and I can make more videos like this.